Hi, I'm Chuck Alexander with Harris Broadcast. We're very pleased to be a winner this year of the 2013 Radio Magazine Pick Hit Award for our IP-Link 200 audio codec. The IP-Link 200 provides audio coding and decoding for two stereo signals in each direction and also provides a convenient user interface on the front panel for setting audio channels, for setting IP addresses, etc. The IP-Link 200 provides a variety of tools to ensure robust transmission of audio over IP networks. We focus on always-on audio with the Interplex product line for applications that are critical to the radio broadcast, particularly studio to transmitter links. Some of the ways we achieve reliability over IP networks include forward error correction, a variety of levels of error correction are available for any stream that's generated by the IP-Link 200, in addition, we have as many as three uh, Ethernet ports available on the back panel for communication over diverse networks. And this is probably the most valuable uh, tool in the kit because uh, if you're working over networks, each one of them may have a certain amount of packet loss. But if you can operate over different networks entirely, perhaps a DSL on one side, a cable modem on the other, or a business class MPLS service, the chances are very low that the errors in packet loss will be correlated. If you experience packet loss on one network, the other network will probably be able to deliver the packets you need. To take advantage of that capability, we have a feature we call dynamic stream splicing. This graphical user interface shows the receiving codec at the transmitter site with two streams coming from the studio over two different networks. The streams are con containing identical audio content, and both streams get dumped into a single receive buffer, and the software then picks the packets it needs from the receive buffer. If it needs a packet number four, it just grabs number four. There's an extra one that falls out of the bucket. And when it looks for five, it just grabs the first packet number five it needs. So if packet number six is lost by one network, it's supplied by the other. In that way, we can pass through packet loss, errors, path fades on one channel without any degradation of the audio. So this is a very critical feature to try to get performance out of an IP network that approaches that that we're used to with uh, TDM T1 networks. Another unique feature of the IP-Link 200 is what we call multi-coding. When you bring an audio signal into either channel on an IP-Link 200, you can simultaneously encode that in multiple different audio formats. This is very convenient, for example, again, in an STL application. Perhaps you don't have equal size networks or equal capacity networks. You may have a higher cost main network that's a business class DSL. You could send your main uncompressed audio from the studio to the transmitter over that link. But any link can fail, and if that link were to go down, you need some kind of backup. Well, perhaps you could use a DSL that has a much lower bit rate, so that audio that's being in, sent in a linear format could also be simultaneously encoded in any other format, like, for example, AAC high efficiency, and sent at 64 kilobits over that low-cost, lower bit rate channel as a backup. So a variety of options for uh, ensuring availability, redundancy. And in the end, if all the streams fail and all the networks are down, the IP-Link unit at the transmitter site will fall back to playing audio from a plugged-in USB stick or from locally provided audio. So a whole variety of tools to keep you on the air. Also at NAB this year, we're introducing the Opus coding algorithm, which is unique in its ability to provide uh, low-delay encoding, which is important in so many applications but at the same time, low bit rate and quality that compares with AAC. So we're very pleased to be able to provide that additional codec in our arsenal of tools. So we're very pleased again to have won the 2013 Radio Magazine Pick Hits Award. Again, this is Chuck Alexander. Thank you very much.